Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I would like to do today guys is show you your intertwine options within Adobe Illustrator. As you can see here, this black arrow looks like it's intertwining with the typography here. For example, going through the letter O or through the letter P, just to really give you that sort of intertwine look. And what I would like to do is show you the process that you need, processes and the steps that you need to take to follow and create such effects. Trust me when I say it's a very easy thing to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is press Command-0 on Mac or Control-0 on Windows just to go back to normal view mode. And using my selection tool here, I'm just going to select everything like so and backspace to remove. So, so first of all, let's create our typography. So with our typography tool here, just going to come through and click on the artboard and let's write the word explore. Just going to change the color of this now. Let's get rid of this here to white. And using the shortcut shift on a uh, Mac on, on Windows, you can keep it proportionate and option on a Mac or alt on Windows to resize from the center point there like so. And with that selected, I'm just going to come to our alignment tools at the top here and just get that aligned nicely on our artboard. Okay, so now I need to use my brush tool. So I'm going to come here to my brush, double click on the tool here just to make sure that my fidelity is at super smooth, just so that I know that my brush stroke will be very smooth to the eye. And then within our brush library here, I'm just going to make sure that I have the arrow brush highlighted. And I'm just going to change the color of the stroke now to black. And we're going to come through now with that brush tool. And we're going to start off by coming through the E there over the X, through the P, through the O, through the R there. And let's finish like so. Okay. Now, as you can see, all it looks like is the arrow is on top of the word. And what we want to try and do is create this intertwined look. So with my selection tool, I'm just going to select everything. And then if I go to object, we have intertwine and then make and all you need to do, guys, is create a selection or using the lasso tool here, like so, over what you want to intertwine. And if you release, as you can see, the uh, intertwine is quite effective. So I'm going to say I want to leave that P going through the P there. So I'm going to say we just take away this and intertwine that section there. Wonderful. Let's say we have it going through there, like so. And I'm going to come through here like so, and let's remove this section here. And there you have it guys. That's how you use your intertwine tools in Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, there are recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis, so please make sure you take a look. Thank you very much guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.